Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Paul on a nice Tuesday evening, catching up with my ride home reviews. Uh, this week I watched The Circle, uh, and The Circle stars Tom Hanks, Emma Watson, Patton Oswalt, John Boyega, and uh, Bill Paxton in his final role. Um, may he rest in peace and direct and was directed by James Polston um, the movies about a technological a, a social technological company kind of like Mick kind of if you mixed Facebook and Apple together um, in which they create um, social software and devices that track you and um, and Emma Watson plays uh, a new employee there who rises through the ranks um, kind of inadvertently uh, due to um, a certain incident that sparks her to become a worldwide celebrity and spokesperson and so on for this company and of course that's when tragedy strikes and everything uh, changes. Um, what I liked about this movie, uh, I really liked Tom Hanks's portrayal of a Steve Jobs slash Mark Zuckerberg character. I thought he was spot on. He was, an, he was a joy to watch on the screen. Um, I liked the concept. I really like the concept of this company because it, hit, it hits really close to home and gets to a, a point where uh, people are really thinking and feeling this way and technology is moving closer and closer to us being more public, less private, and what that means and access to data and how much, how easy it is. And so I really liked the concept of that. Uh, what I didn't really care for um, was I felt that some of the acting was a little stilted. Uh, um, there were there were scenes in which the actors really didn't have much chemistry. I didn't think uh, John Boyega and Emma Watson really had good chemistry on screen. They're two good actors, but I don't know what the what the issue was. It just didn't feel like there was any connection um, and that was the case uh, with with that um, and then uh, I mean the story was predictable um, you saw certain aspects of it going a certain way you knew that uh, and so that was it was just an okay movie I mean there were some good parts. There were some parts that you did really well. I liked a lot of the visual effects uh, of the overlays, the augmented reality overlays. Um, I liked the the keynote scenes were really spot on. They obviously studied a lot of Apple keynotes and stuff like that. That was good. Um, but for the most part, I mean, nah, uh, this movie was okay. The ending was kind of unsatisfactory. I mean, it was a necessary end, but it just really didn't, uh, really didn't uh, have the oomph to it. Um, uh, the climax was really good. I thought that that was necessary and needed. Um, but for the most part, I thought I thought it was uh, okay. It was okay. Um, nothing to to rush to the theaters to see. Uh, uh, there was some weird scenes interjected into it um, I think uh, they tried too hard somewhat sometimes on trying to do the culture of the company instead of letting it happen naturally um, I think that was part of the adaptation from the story to the screen um, so anyway but the thing to watch for the most is Bill Paxton's performance it was his very last performance um, before he passed away so he did a well he did a very good job. Um, so there's that. Next week, it starts the summer blockbusters uh, 
with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So stay tuned for my review on that. Let me know what you thought of this movie if you saw it. Um, and I, I know I've been promised you some extra stuff coming and it's on its way. So stay tuned for all of that. Um, I enjoy doing these. Let me know what you think. Like this, share this. I hope this helps you. Um, uh, just determine whether what you want to see. So, like I said, next week, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Looking forward to it. And I will see you next week.